What's up guys, Justin here with DCGessentials.com back with another Blender resource video for you. So in today's video I wanted to talk about a brand new website that just came out that has a number of different 3D models that you can download and use for free inside of your Blender models. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So a lot of you are probably familiar with HDRI Haven and Texture Haven. So those are two websites that basically make resources in 3D available for free. So HDRI Haven which you can find at hdrihaven.com is 100% free and it contains a library of HDRI backgrounds that you can use for lighting your renderings as well as for creating backgrounds inside of your renders. So they're 100% patron supported, meaning they're supported by donations, but everything that's in here is available for free. So if you were to go to the HDRI section, you can see how there's like 377 HDRI images you can download and you can use. We've talked about these in the past, but again, they're 100% free. They're CC0, meaning you can use them for whatever you want. All they ask is if you like what they're doing, maybe support them on Patreon. So in addition, they also have a website called Texture Haven, which has the same basic principle, um, but they have textures that you can download. So these are all PBR textures that you can download and you can use inside of your models. So again, 100% free, same model, they're CC0, and these contain all of the maps that you need in order to make your materials look realistic. Well, this same group has just rolled out a new website called 3D Model Haven. And so it's very new, but basically what it is, is it's a, it's a website that contains 3D models that you can use that operate under the same set of rules as HDRI Haven and Texture Haven. What that means is they have a model library and you can download all of these different models for free. And I will note that right now, this is a fairly small model library library. It's definitely going to grow over time. Um, they're also going to be accepting um, submissions, I believe, but you can see how the models that they have are fairly high quality. And so again, all of these are 100% free. When you download them, they contain not only the uh, model file, but also all of the textures that you can then hook up inside of Blender. And so if you do this and you take a look at these, these are actually really great looking models. So once you kind of set up all of the different materials, which is really easy to do and then render this, you can see how you get really great results from your renderings. And one thing I will note is just like a lot of Patreon um, supported pages, they do have different goals right now. So at the moment, the models that they bring in are fairly low poly. So if we look at this, uh, this chair, for example, and let's just go to solid mode and let's turn on our wireframe. You can see how this is very low poly right now, so there's not a ton of detail in here. You can see that a little bit when it renders out um, along these edges, this looks a little bit choppy. So one of the things they're gonna do is as their support level grows, they're gonna be making the higher poly meshes available along with other things. So if you go onto their Patreon page and you can see how these are the options to sponsor their website, but if you scroll down, and you look at their goals, once they reach a certain level, they're gonna make the high poly models available and then the substance files available once they hit a certain point. So as they grow, more things are gonna be made available um, to the community. So again, we all kind of benefit when people support this website. But again, when you bring these into Blender, even right now, they look really good. So you can see how the reflections look really good. Everything looks really good. You can create some really great renderings in here, but as we go, it would really be nice to see more models get added. I mean, obviously it's not a huge library. I think they might've launched like last week. So you can't really expect it to be a giant library, but it is something for you to go ahead and get familiar with the website, maybe download some things and try them out, because um, this could be a huge resource for all of us moving forward in the future. Make sure you check them out at 3dmodelhaven.com, um, as well as consider supporting them on Patreon because the more support they get, the better their resources are going to be. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. If you guys are interested, I can do another video about actually setting these up inside of Blender, um, but make sure you go check out their website and see what they have to offer. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.